Now take note of the headlight cups. I didn't actually paint the inside of these because when I put the LED lights in there, I still want it to be reflective. So don't paint the inside if you want to have extra light coming out of the light buckets. So many times I've seen people using Plasti Dip uh, for the full scale one to one vehicles. They do their rims, they use spray Plasti Dip for other things. I use Dip uh, Plasti Dip for uh, waterproofing, but I've never used it for painting. So I figured why not give it a try? I'm going to put it on the uh, actual grill and the headlight mounts as well as the uh, interior and the gas cap with the air filters. Let's see if I can get it to work. Now, Plasti Dip is a rubber coating. Somehow it adheres to the plastic. I wanted to put some uh, uh, primer on there so it would give it something a little bit extra to stick to. And I figured, why not? It's durable. Give it a try. I know it will stand up to the punishment. RC Adventures will dole out to this truck. There we are. There, have a look at this. You can see the Plasti Dip is dry and it's a nice flat black. Now it's rubberized so it's easily washable and won't stain. Well, it'll still stain if you get the right kind of mud in there. All right, it's a new day and I couldn't help it. One of the viewers had mentioned to me, maybe I should Plasti Dip the whole thing. And I thought, you know what? That's a good idea. So I did. Now I have a complete flat black, uh, like a flat matte finish. It's rubberized. At any time I could peel this off and I'd be right back down to the beginning. But I think this is a good time for me to experiment with my painting. Now, I'm not a very good painter. I've never claimed to be. I'm, I'm the average painter, you know, but I, I like to try new things out on camera. And if they work, you know, then right on. You guys can try it too. If I fail, well, then, then we know what doesn't work. So I painted, uh, as you guys know, I did the Plasti Dip on the floor. This is also rubberized down here. Did some highlight painting. I did the interior of this uh, red and did a little bit of detail paint behind there just with these paints I have on the circle. Now, a lot of the glass or the plastic that comes with the kit, I noticed mine was quite scratched up. And plus, this also has a blue hue. So for those who are painting along or like building this truck, be prepared that the window has a bit of a blue tint to it or a purple. So your color scheme to make sure it goes and works with that, right? You can see it's got a bit of a tint. So the two side windows and the back window I've totally painted over, including the sunroof. Now, some you guys might be disappointed with that and I understand but um, just to, the scratches and whatnot I'm sure there's ways to get it out it's just from rubbing in the bag over time right so it's just scuff marks um, I don't have any right now and in, in the tutorial it doesn't matter I actually kind of wanted to put some netting in here kind of like screen that you'd use on your front door of all things you know maybe just to get some so you can see through and see the chairs that I've painted up and everything like that on the inside Right, I still like the windshield idea. I still have the two side windows, but do I want the side windows open? Eh, I'll have to check it out. But I want to do some detail paint work. So I'm just taking a sharp blade and I'm cutting around the uh, hinge that I want to paint. I'm interested to see if the plastic dip is going to stay stuck to the body after I've cut it. In theory, if this doesn't work out, I'd just be able to peel the Plasti Dip off. I don't know if it would work, but that's my, that's my plan. I think this will work out fine though. Let's see if I can peel this back. And to pull it. There we go. Now I gotta be careful while I'm pulling it uh, 
pulling the plasti dip that it is actually cut because I don't want to pull anything away from the body. There we go. Gently. Sorry, I know I'm covering it up. Beauty. I love it. Look at that. And I'm just exposing the plastic underneath. See that? I'll just peel off the outside skin. See how easy this is? As long as you make sure to score it. I almost noticed while I was peeling off some of the plasti dip over these areas, you can almost make it bubble and look like rust if you wanted to do that. I don't know if I'll do that yet, but I'll def definitely want to start painting the hinges. Uh, the testers enamel, what number is this? It's MET silver. Okay, so for detail painting, ta -da -da, the super, super slender. What is this one? Tamiya modeling brush item 87017. And I think overall I'm going to be using the 87028. See the difference in thickness there? Perfect. Detail painting can make your truck really stand out from the rest. It's the one way you can, you know, make it your own. Everybody can go out and buy an off the shelf, but a few minutes with a paintbrush and a few little details onto your truck, and you're assured to have something unique out on the trail. Now, let's move into the hinges. The open area, I've washed the whole thing, so there's no dust or anything. I don't want to use one brush for the whole area. It's not gonna be allowing me to be fine enough. Now, hold on, maybe I've got some gold. Or, let's bust out the red. Red's a good shiny color. Just a tiny bit of this. We use the, the super small brush for the red. You'll see what I'm using it for. Number one, make sure my fingers are clear of paint. Number two, grab my paintbrush that's clean in the lacquer and get in there. Just around the edges. Not too bad. First time paint job. Not really showing you guys how to do it. You guys are more discovering how I'm doing it at the same time I am. But if you don't try something, you'll never learn. There we are. I'm gonna take this super slender uh, paintbrush here, the 87017, and just dab the tip of that. And what I wanna do are these little bolts that hold that hinge on. Just a little bit of red. Set my finger against my other finger for a little bit of stability. And you guys get to see little red bolts appear. Beauty, I love that. Let's go up higher. Now this is more hinge pin. Let's make the bottom of the hinge pin red. And let's make the top of the hinge pin red. Get some black going on here. Make sure my brush is nice and clean. Not too much. Right, that's what got me in trouble here in the first place. There, beautiful.
Well, my friends, there you have it. My first attempt at detail painting. Now I know there's some things I could have done differently. In fact, there's a ton of things I could have done differently. But as a beginner, I'm actually glad I took the time to do a little bit of extra work to make it my own. Now I get to assemble the whole vehicle and uh, see what my new Galenda 2 actually looks like. The D90 Defender Galenda 2 from RC Four Wheel Drive. My friends, I brought everything into the studio, assembled it, accessorized, and this is the final outcome. Now, check it out. These tires and rim combo look fantastic. I love how the matte black turned out and all the decals that are put on. The sticker sheet that it comes with is actually very versatile. It gives you lots to choose from. You'll see in the back here, I opted not to use uh, the tinted blue windscreen. And I also tinted the top. I find this plastic kind of difficult to tint. Uh, so be careful, be forewarned. I would almost suggest trying to add a real tint to it. But the detail painting that went into this certainly made it look unique all on its own. Check that out. Now this top rack doesn't actually come uh, with the uh, Galenda 2. This is something I added on that I've had in the parts box for quite some time. An extra tire on the back. I ordered that to come along as well. And I made the back window and the top two windows tinted just so I could get a good solid look. I'd like to add in some screen, maybe um, I was thinking about adding some bars and making it into a like a prisoner of war truck, uh, but I also have the chain, so I'm still working with that. You'll see everything worked out exactly according to plan. Fully aluminum, front to back, except for the spur gear and the nylon uh, drive shafts. I did switch them out for a steel drive uh, drive line instead. That was the Punisher series. What do you guys think of that? Not too bad, hey? I'm pretty happy. Pretty. We could put that up there. I could change this around to be on the front. I love the look of the new Galenda 2. Now the only thing that I would add to this right now out of the box, uh, even though this stock looks amazing, right, is this performance light bar from RC Four Wheel Drive. Now I think I counted 48 LEDs on the back of this thing, fully aluminum as well. Check that out. What a beautiful light bar. Now I was thinking about adding it up here, but my friends, that will be for another day. What is this? Another bright idea from RC Four Wheel Drive, built to last. This is 2S LiPo com compatible, and it says it's easy to integrate into any project. Well, I'm gonna be able to plug this into the bind port uh, of my receiver, my spectrum based receiver, and then I'll be able to have some bright light that'll light up the night sky when I'm out trailing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this project and uh, you followed along, had a good time, a good look at the Glenda 2 from RC Four Wheel Drive. Next thing for me to do, get it out on the trail.